I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! <coughs> Jump in, Jehoshaphat! Oh, uh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. <clears throat> I'm not senile yet. I was just singing about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. So, I pay Blue Corp a visit. Oh! Oh, I see. Mr. Gosberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, whoa, uh, which is it? Well, oh, for it, my boy! You see, it's just... Mr. Gosberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other, the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intentions of pawning with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Wed Wright's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Gosberg, I know you and Mr. Wright are connected somehow. C connected you say? Yes, and I know what it is. He's giving you information, he's black mile- <laughs> He'll flop us! Oh, uh, that's funny, but no, he's blackmailing you. Mr. Wright has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is fairly ga- Fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it is time I get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you are me years under study. Perhaps it was fate. What is he talking about? Reed Wright is a man who makes his living through in intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name of the pack of those photographs. As you suspect, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So, that's the connection. It's, it is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Reed Wright will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore, to him. Don't look at me like that. You see, what you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What was the reason for your blackmail? Why were you blackmailed though? Why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Cosberg? The DL, the DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It makes sense. The police didn't want people knowing that they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It was an, it was an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret. They began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, Wright heard about it and came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the laws of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She follows his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she's found. So what exactly was the DL6 incident? The DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from Medium. The spirit medium. Medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye. Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. 
This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. So, I asked you before, but why did you refuse to request for her defense? I think I have a right to know. Alright, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it. Yeah, that, that, that one's kind of, like, repeat, is it not? In the trial, yes I did, get a wink of sleep, really what, no goal. I'm pretty sure I talked about this before. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, let's go back to her office. It's funny. Like, in this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Gosberg said that there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look? Maya, Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing is missing is... Mia. All the cases that she's ever worked were filed here. An alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? A the I, J the S, T the V. Let's see, J through S. That wasn't much here. <sighs> well, no harm in floating through the bed, I guess. I think it's probably here at the ending at S. Suicide, huh? She has a collection of suicide reports. This politicians, policemen? Oh, I picked the right one by accident. Shoot. There's writing on most of these in pencil. Right. This is Maya's handwriting. Wait. I get it. Maya thought he was involved in these suicides. Wright drove them all to... I can use these new paper clippings and... Uh, let's find the most disturbing one. Article about a politician's suicide. The word right is written in pencil on the top. Uh, let's look T through Z. T, U, I know, W, white. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Interesting. A, records on my file that catch my eye. A, B, F, Missy Fay. That's me and Maya's mother. Should I take a look? Yeah. I have taught us a fey name, leaving only these words my mother vanished. I was determined to find the one who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the powers that were in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men sufficed. One was Marvin Gosberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was a man who sold the information to the press. This parasite who makes its fortune on stress and con concern. His name? I could stop there. So Maya knew Gosberg. Yeah, we knew that part before. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna show these to Mr. White, but I found this in Mia's files. So she, so she was investigating Reed right as I expect. Well, one of the challenge, Jim. You could, could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Uh, let's all check this place out. Apparently, Ms. May isn't questioning. I'll uh, Delta let me talk to her today. Okay, so that's, uh, dead end. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message had yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patient further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. No point asking about <laughs> asking someone this quick and a straight question. I need evidence to can prove my ammo. What's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Why, yes. There's my eyes and my nose and my mouth. But of course I jest. You need not restrain your mouth, my friend. It was okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. This is the only clue that Maya left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. Wright, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of the politicians. 
he was he was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to that politician. You bribed him, you spied on him, you blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just not just him either. You are threatening and co coercing hundreds of others. You are involved in all the suicide cases that Meyer was investigating. This company is built on blackmail. I'm white. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation, Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing here? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mayer. Secretary's office. Hello? Secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll be sending someone in right away. Wait a second, Mr. Wright. You're wrong, Mr. Wright. Excuse me. What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. Wright. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Wait, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Faye. Mia Fey case, I witnessed the murder, you see, and thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? So you said you didn't want to go to court. Creditude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The Executioner! The Hatchet Man! The Liquidator! The Killer Man! What?! Mr. Wright, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you're in a position to freely offer your opinion on me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now! Did I not tell you, Mr. Ong? You are a mere lawyer. And was Miss Mia. HOW DARE YOU! I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any wars will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they will make you look confident. <laughs> I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe, a pardon, sir. Ah, butts, Harry butts. Right, actually, Phoenix Wright, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right, sorry, pal. But was the murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Ms. Mia Fey. W what? Take this. Despicable, despicable human being in the custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. September 8th, 3.37 p.m., Detention center, detention center, visitor's room. I can't believe. It's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. Fritz got a set a trap for me, and the prosecution will be in on it, of course. It was included. An attorney was signed to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had no idea. Right? Mr. Wright? Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention? Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Yeah. Now I'm afraid we're switching. We, we've switched places. Although she's still in the detention center, they didn't bother making another scene for this. What? You mean. you? I explained what happened to Maya. I 
don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. Now you? This has gone too far! Mr. Wright, please tell me! Is there anything I can do? Uh, well... Help me break out of here! Cheer me on in court! Defend me in court! Alright, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. Alright! Huh? Leave it to me! I am my sister after all! Lawyership runs in the blood! Wasn't it ghost powers that ran in the blood? I better run up the bookstore and pick up a copy of <laughs> Law for Wookiees! Wait! Wait, 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 wait! What, what, what? I'm kidding! It was a joke! No way! No, really, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know that you're on my side. And there really isn't anything that you can do for me anyways. But... But I can't just sit here and do nothing! I've gotta get... I've got to give that man a piece of my mind! Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. She's ready to fight! Fight, fight, fight! Fight, fight, fight! Times may change yet with crime. It's the same old story. In fact, it's got him off. Lazy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial death. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial tr court trials. Almost all finished in a day. Was most with a guilt uh, most with a vo guilty verdict. I cannot read. Wow. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself in this case. There's a true culprit appearing as a star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. <laughs> 